Welcome again, everyone, to Fireline. As you all know, a lot of things have happened since our last edition. Let us begin by reviewing some of our most recent fire activity. On July 3rd, a fire broke out in a rooftop cooling tower on top of the 16-story GTE building at 610 Morgan Street. This is what GTE had to say about the three alarm fire. I was on top of the building by the time they got there, and as an eyewitness, I can truthfully say they were very efficient. And as far as I'm concerned, it was a class A job they did. A total of four alarms were called to fight a fire in the warehouse of Govins Incorporated at 1902 North Florida Avenue on September the 3rd. The building had at one time been a funeral home and the maze of subdivided rooms and concealed spaces made the firefighting extremely difficult. The hot, humid weather also played a factor in the deployment of manpower. The alarm fire leveled a painting company at 132 North 13th Street on October 18th. The presence of flammable liquids and paints, including at least five drums of methyl ethyl ketone, contributed to the intense fire. Firefighters had a brush with a collapsing wall just moments after Tower One had repositioned away from the building. Even though the two-story building was totally destroyed by the fire, the exposures to either side, which shared walls with the burn building, and the exposure to the rear, 20 feet across the railroad spur, received no damage. At the end of August, the summer of hazardous materials training was completed and Engine 31 became fully operational. one person in here that worked the hardest, I couldn't do it. I know there's times when uh, some of you had to work a little harder just to keep up. You should have seen the faces when they got into the chemistry class. <laughs> He's run them up. <laughs> He's gone crazy. This ain't chemistry, this is punishment. <clears throat> At an incident shortly afterward, Engine 31 assisted the Tampa Police Department bomb squad which is also a part of the hazardous materials team, removed four cans of 20-year-old ether. The ether was taken to the police bomb range and detonated. A large crowd was on hand on the Franklin Street Mall to watch the handling of a simulated chlorine leak and a high-level rescue. and occasionally they do fall off and create a hazard for us. One of the first things you'll see is the officer in charge of these units making a size up of the situation. He'll dismount from his vehicle and he'll try to attempt to identify exactly what the problem might be. Many times we have to stay several thousand feet away and use binoculars to identify what the product might be. He'll then give his crew some direction as to what type of equipment they're going to use if we're going to have to evacuate, set up a perimeter area. It's most especially, he'll give some direction in establishing a hot zone or an area where we don't want anybody without proper training entering into. The correct identification of this problem is very important to us. We'll use a lot of resource type of materials, manuals, books, call on different types of companies to be able to give us information that might be relative to the situation. The 
The demonstration was part of fire prevention week activities. The week before fire prevention week is the observance of emergency medical services week. Another demonstration on the mall dramatized a motor vehicle versus pedestrian accident and an electrocution. Our special thanks to our victims, Carol Cordell and Eric Hall. Since our last edition of Fireline, Tampa has changed mayors. In July, Bob Martinez resigned after seven years in office to campaign for governor and Sandra Friedman was sworn in as Tampa's new mayor. Fireline asked Mayor Friedman about her plans for the fire department. No, specifically with regard to the fire department though, we're going to continue to meet the needs of the people working in the department. We've got some citywide programs on uh, assistance for employees and uh, we're going to continue to do that and provide quality facilities, and update the facilities, and hopefully the equipment as, as is needed. I think that the uh, morale is up in the department, or so it appears to me. I hope it is. And uh, just keep on doing the good things we're doing and improve upon some of the things we've been a little slack, slack on. I think the city has a great deal of professionalism in every department, but the fire department really has a professional organization. and I'm, impressed by it all the time. Unfortunately, I've had to, had to have the use of it once or twice, uh, and so I've seen it firsthand, and we really do a super job and provide a great service. The second thing I want to say is that I hope that in the eight and a half years that I'm here, that uh, all the employees of the city will find me to be fair and accessible and uh, really interested in what they're doing. 